Hey guys, in this month's top five, I'm going to be sharing with you my five favorite items to either eat or drink at Walt Disney World. So, for this month, I wanted to do something a little different for top five. You know, instead of talking about movies or television or books like I typically do for my top five, uh, I wanted to do something different because this month, for August, uh, I am going to Disney World. Yay! I've been many, many times. I, I love it every time I go. Uh, this video is either being posted before or after my trip. I'm not really quite sure. I'm filming it before my trip, but yeah, as far as it being posted, I'm not quite sure when exactly it's being posted. I'm either at Disney right now or or I've come back. I'm not sure on the details yet as far as when this video is being posted, but either way. Uh, so yeah, my five favorite items to either eat or drink at Disney World. Uh, there's a lot. And this, this is my own personal list. Disney World, if, if you've been, there is so much to consume at Disney. There's so many things you can drink and eat. I mean, it's, it's numerous. It's, it's ridiculous, kind of, the, the variety of foods and drinks that you can eat at Disney. So yeah, this is my personal list. The things that I look forward to. Uh, yeah, this is not a list like, oh, you should definitely go do this, because <laughs> yeah, everyone has different tastes when it comes to food and drinks. Um, so yeah, let's get going, yeah guys. What are, what are the five things I like to eat and drink at Disney World? At number five is a simple and easy one, kind of your basic standard item that you gotta you gotta eat when you're at Disney. And what I personally love to eat when I when I get it Dis when I get when I go to Disney, uh, and that is the Mickey ice cream sandwich. Not the bar, not the Mickey Mouse bar, but the sandwich. Like that, the ice cream is kind of wrapped in a. Um, like a, a soft cookie, if you will. Um, like a sandwich, <laughs> but just in a cookie. An ice cream sandwich. I'm sure you've had them. Um, so yeah, I love to get that. Um, it's just simple, basic, tasty, refreshing. Um, and I do, I, me personally, I prefer the ice cream sandwiches over the ice cream bars, <laughs> because the ice cream bars to me are just much more melty and messy. They melt quicker, if that makes sense, compared to the sandwich. I don't know if it's just me, but yeah, I personally love the Mickey sandwiches. They're they're shaped in the shape of Mickey Mouse, obviously, and they are. They're just yummy, good, and like I said, the simple and basic, and yeah, when it's hot out there in the month of August, it's definitely a, a must for me. At number four, I have a place that I like to go to to get some particular uh, good treats, and that is, what is it called? Let me look at my notes. Zuri's Sweet Shop. And you can find Zuri's Sweet Shop in Animal Kingdom. And the number one thing that I look forward to getting at Zuri's Sweet Shop are these these chocolates that are in the shape of Mickey Mouse. Every, practically everything at Disney World is shaped like Mickey Mouse. Yeah, guys, if you've never been, that's the first thing you need to know. Everything is shaped like Mickey. But yeah, there's these chocolates that they're shaped like Mickey. They're they're actually a pretty good, decent size. They're probably um, uh, maybe about like maybe about like this or so. And you know, imagine imagine some ears kind of sprouted out from that. Uh, they're a nice, decent portion. Um, and they, they're chocolate banana. Uh, remember, this is Animal Kingdom. A lot of the, the sweets at Animal Kingdom, they'll incorporate like fruits and stuff like that, especially banana. And yeah, these, these Mickey-shaped chocolates, it's just milk chocolate. You can also get dark chocolate. And yeah, they, they come with bananas in them, like banana chunks, like for real banana, not like fake banana or banana favor flavoring or something. It's like real legit banana in them. And they are super, super good. I, I love just the combination of chocolate and banana, just so good. So yeah, definitely another top favorite for me. At number three, this is another item I gotta look on my list here because it kind of has a complicated title to it. Uh, it is the Kabuki Cafe, and this you can find at Epcot in the World Showcase Pavilion, uh, right around the Japan area. And yeah, let me repeat the the 
the little kiosk. It's a little kiosk and it's called Kabuki Cafe. And um, what I love getting there in particular is this thing called a kakigori. And a kakigori, if you're not familiar with what that is, it's, it's kind of the equivalent of an American snow cone, I guess. And yeah, they put it in a little plastic a cup, it's it's the crushed ice, and then yeah, um, you get like a flavoring and you also top it with uh, a sweet a sweet milk sort of topping um, that's really yummy. And yeah, I always like to get the khaki gory at Epcot because the khaki gory, like I said, it's the equivalent of an American snow cone. And yeah, it can be very, very hot, especially in August. And yeah, the khaki glory is just immensely refreshing. And yeah, if you're if you're dehydrated, it's it's definitely something you need if you're dehydrated, <laughs> which can happen at Disney, because um, it is. It's just the crushed ice. But yeah, you can also get flavoring, which you know gives it a little sweetness to kind of perk you up a little bit. And yeah, I like getting mine with cherry flavoring it's super good and yeah the the sweet milk that's poured on top uh, that that is the best part I think I think I've gone before and asked them to put extra sweet milk on top because it is that is seriously the highlight of the khaki gory <laughs> at number two also comes from Epcot in the World Showcase Pavilion and that is the restaurant Marrakesh in Morocco and seriously if, if you're eating at Epcot, you, you need to make time to try and go to Marrakesh in the, the Morocco area. Yeah, guys, Marrakesh is easily one of my favorite places to go to when I am at Epcot. And it is, it's not like a fast food restaurant. It is like a, you know, sit down and a waiter comes and and waits on you. It's that type of service. And yeah, I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you my meal. This is the meal. The Marrakesh, when you go to Marrakesh, the Marrakesh restaurant, it, it, it is, it is, it's more than just the food. It's like an experience. You got to have everything to go with it. So I'm going to give you the whole, the whole course of food that you got to go, that you have to, they have to eat when you go to Marrakesh, you guys. So yeah, what I like to start off with, I'm, I'm going to make y'all hungry and I'm getting hungry right now too. Um, for an appetizer, I I like to get uh, goat cheese bread. That is seriously delicious. And then for my entree, I like to get a chicken kebab, which is to die for. And then after that, for dessert, I like to get Bastilla, which is a, uh, a crispy pastry, and they put almonds and like a vanilla cream on top of it, and it is so yummy. It's like, I, I have never gotten a Bastilla in any sort of American restaurant, that's for sure. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the whole meal. When I go to to Marrakesh to eat. I, I, I love getting the I, I love getting an appetizer, an entree, and then the Bastilla dessert. I, I definitely recommend it. <laughs> um, I think a lot of people, I think they see the Morocco section and they, they're a little they're a little afraid of what some of the food is, but yeah, they don't have anything weird or crazy. <laughs> There's nothing weird or crazy to eat. It is all very simple and basic, but very tasty and yeah, just full of kind of those Moroccan spices and flavors and whatnot. So yeah. Marrakesh. I love that place. Makes my number two. So, at number one, this might be a, a silly one, but this is something I always have to get, or I'm in a mood. <laughs> and I like to have, I like to try and have one of these, like, one a day on my vacation at Disney World. And that's a frozen cappuccino that comes from the little Joffrey's kiosks. And if you don't know what the Joffrey kiosks are, um, they're, they're kind of like an equivalent to Starbucks, I suppose. Uh, Disney has incorporated Starbucks into all their parks, but I refuse to visit a Starbucks because I can get a Starbucks any place where I live. You know what I mean? I can get a Starbucks anywhere around me because there I seriously have a good 10 Starbucks in the area that I live in. So yeah, it's like why do I want to get a Starbucks when I'm at Disney World, you guys? Um, so yeah, I like going to these kiosks that are in various different locations around all the different parks and they're called Joffrey's and they have really great coffee products and I always love getting a frozen cappuccino with hazelnut flavoring and it is delicious. I love it. And 
yeah, it on a hot day it tastes good, and yeah, especially near the end of your trip when you're starting to feel a little slow and sluggish and exhausted. Yeah, I love getting these. They kind of perk me up, wake me up. So yeah, uh, Joffrey's Kiosk with Frozen Cappuccino with hazelnut, you guys. That's the key. With hazelnut. It is delicious. Um, definitely one of my number one items that I love getting every single trip. And yeah, like I said, I'm not joking. I try to get it like every day when I'm there. <laughs> Since, yeah, where I live, we definitely have nothing like that here. So, you guys, that is it for my top five. Uh, in the comments below, uh, you guys, have you guys visited either Disney World, Disneyland, some version of Disney. That could be Paris or Tokyo. I don't know. Um, but yeah, what items do you guys, when you visit Disney, what items do you like to eat and drink? It doesn't have to be anything crazy or outlandish. It can be simple and basic because yeah, that's kind of what my list was, was just some simple things for me. Um, I, I don't like to get too crazy with my food and drink when I'm out traveling because I can get a little sick, but yeah, you guys, I, I would love to hear what things you like to eat and drink at Disney. Yeah, are there some things maybe I should try out in the future? So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and if you like this video, you may like these other videos. Bye guys.